When I tell people that my favorite animals are parasites, they tend to be pretty disgusted. And why shouldn't they? Most people think parasites are horrible creatures that can, quite literally, suck the lives out of their hosts. While this perception is based on truth, not all parasites are like this. Imagine your body is a house. One day, squatters sneak in and start eating your food and getting nasty in your kitchen. If you call the cops, they're easy enough to kick off your property, but it's kind of hard to get rid of them when they lay low and have made friends with your guard dogs. You've probably never heard of them, and yet, these invaders have set up shop in a quarter of the world's population. Introducing the parasitic nematodes, the stealthy squatters of the parasite world. So how are parasitic nematodes so terrifyingly successful? For starters, nematodes lay a ridiculous number of eggs. A single female Ascaris lumbricoides worm, the kind you're most likely to have, can lay approximately 200,000 eggs per day, every day, for about a year. And that's before you multiply that across thousands of females that are living inside your body. Luckily, you end up pooping out most of the eggs, but they can live in the soil for up to 10 years and still successfully infect some other unfortunate soul. But the nematode's true power, and the real reason why you should be awed by them, is that they suppress your immune system. This actually turns out to be a careful balancing act for the nematodes, since completely shutting down your immune system will kill you and leave the nematodes homeless, but letting your immune system work normally means certain doom for the nematodes. While hosts infected with nematodes are more likely to get sick, it doesn't mean that they will die or even have a poor quality of life. Most people, for better or for worse, don't have any symptoms until there are more nematodes than their body can support, at which point the nematodes can cause you extreme pain or perhaps even kill you. Pretty scary, am I right? Remember the metaphor of your body being your house? Your guard dogs are your immune system. Some people's guard dogs are overly hyper, to the point of chewing up the furniture to try and get out some of their energy. You would think that having both overactive guard dogs and pesky squatters would only make matters worse, but it actually doesn't. Turns out, wherever nematode infections are common, there are very low rates of autoimmune diseases, and vice versa. Some bright scientists are studying whether or not nematodes can manage an overactive immune system and the diseases that result from it, such as asthma, Crohn's disease, and even some forms of type 1 diabetes. One day, your doctor may even prescribe you nematode eggs for your allergies. Scientists are also working on making a medicine out of the proteins nematodes release to suppress your immune system. And while those medicines are still years away from finding their way into your local pharmacy, they have the potential to extend and raise the quality of life for millions of people around the world. I get excited about nematodes because to me, they are more than just a bothersome pest. They are a beacon of hope for a brighter future.